airport security, this is like the first time where I actually had a problem with it, right? Like the airport security, this was genuinely the first time that I had a problem with it, right? Because you have to remember that I had to ship back like a lot of my electronics and everything, right? I had to ship back a lot of my, like the computer, the, like, oh my gosh, it was awful. But, um, <laughs> so when I, when I arrived back, right? When I arrived back, I was like, I was just like rolling my like four bags down, right? I was, I was like rolling my, like my, I had, I had to get another luggage, like another big old luggage. Thank you, Kai, for the 40. Thank you. It was, it was good. But I had, I had to get like, so I had like four giant bags that I was just like wheeling down. And the security guy stops me and he's just like, he got four bags there. And I'm like, oh, wait, sorry. Wait, no, he wasn't, he wasn't taller than me. He was, I was like, yeah, yeah, I got, I got four. Uh, he, he like asked for my passport. He's just like, all right, where are you coming from? I was just like, the UK. And then he's just like, how long have you been staying there? Four months. And then he, he thought like, like he thought that I was doing something suspicious because the look that he gave me after I said that I was in the UK for four months and I was coming back with four giant luggage bags. Like he, he so he stopped me and he was just like, all right, I'm going to need you to like go, go up here. And then he started to like search like my bags and everything. And the, originally, right. When he, when he asked, what were you doing there? I was just like hanging out with friends. And that's all I said. I didn't say anything about like jobs or anything. Like I, I didn't want to tell this guy that the reason why I went to the UK for four months was to dance in front of a camera. So that's not what I did, but basically I, <laughs> so I, I went there and then, and then he asked, okay, so he, he asked, do, what do you do for work? And then I was just like, okay, time to, time to rip the bandaid off. And I said, yeah, I'm an online content creator. And then he goes like, oh, how many followers do you have? And then as, as soon as I told him, as soon as I told him how many I had, immediately wasn't suspicious of me anymore. He was just like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, like originally, like he, I could tell that he thought that I was like doing something illegal. But afterward, he was just like, oh, oh okay, that's, that's cool. And then he was just like, he was like talking about it. You can tell that he has like a, like an understanding of it and everything. And then, and then his friend comes over to like help like, search through all of my luggage and everything which by the way it was the funniest thing for to be searched by airport security have them open up the bag and it's just filled with rambu plushies it's just <laughs> like i don't know how i'm supposed to explain that i just we just kind of looked at each other like and then just moved on like he, he opened it up and it was just like filled with like all of wait it was like filled with all of those all of those were in my bag I was just like, oh god, <laughs> this is, this is terrible. And then his, and then his friend comes over, and then, and then, like, the first guy's just like, hey, this guy's a, this guy's a YouTuber. <laughs> He's got, like, 3.6 million. He's just like, and the other guy's like, wow, do you know Mr. Beast? And now, I could do two things here. I could say no, which is mostly true, or I could impress him and say yes, because Mr. Beast responded to me once on Twitter. So I said yes. <laughs> I said I said yes, and then, and then he was just like, "Whoa, that's that's awesome!" You know, Mr. Beast. And I'm like, "Yeah, I do." <laughs> Not really. Um. <laughs> then, like, for the rest of the time, it was very, very like nice. They were all very, very lovely. But like, before I told them what I did, they were so suspicious of me. And it was because I was just wheeling down like these like giant four bags like they thought I was going to like, oh, I don't know what they thought I was carrying, but it obviously wasn't, you know, just plushies. Oh, my God. But yeah, so that was that was my my ordeal with airport security. It was, oh, my God, it was the funniest thing, actually, because I was just like, like, it's the it, it was the weirdest thing because if i if i just didn't tell them that i was a content creator imagine just how incredibly suspicious it would be like i'm bringing back like all this electrical equipment all these like wires and cords into the airport oh no it'd be it'd be awful it'd be, be terrible oh man yeah and on the way there as well i got stopped again actually like on the way there i got stopped as well and then he was just like <laughs> It was, I, I, I had to stop myself from laughing at this because what he did was he, he opened up my backpack, pulled out my laptop, <laughs> stared at me with a, with just a blank expression and went, so you're a gamer. And I just went, uh-huh. 
and it was i was so close to just laughing there he just he just he just he just took out the laptop went so you're a gamer and then put it back and it, like oh my god it was it was the weird that is like the weirdest things that I, like, that was like the weirdest trip that i ever had I, I got a window seat this time though i got a window seat this time on the plane which was nice oh it was it was great i got to see like clouds and everything something that i 